Aguilar and I have another unboxing for you. Now this one's actually not a surprise. This is a, a guy that contacted me on Fanaticus and wanted to do a horse trade. Um, and although we're not talking exactly horses, uh, he, he did have an army that he was interested in that I had figures for that were hard to get a hold of. And uh, he proposed to uh, trade off some stuff he didn't really have a need for. So um, this one comes from Canada. And uh, I did not, uh, I normally block off who it comes from. I didn't do that on this because I wanted to make sure that I had his address. So I'm going to open this, cut this off site because I want to protect his, uh, I don't want you guys paying him a visit. So um, we're just going to open this. We're going to cut the edges and then we'll open it on uh, on video. So, But these are uh, some figures that he did not have a need for. And uh, it was something that I could use. And likewise, uh, what he's going to be getting is uh, an army that I'll probably never build. Uh, actually, several armies. Uh, more than an army worth of figures. Okay, and then we're going to have to cut across the front of this. And I actually got this yesterday, yesterday evening, and of course, uh, when things arrive on Monday, I find it very annoying because um, I can't open it on Monday, because Monday's our game night, so. Anyhow, so this is what's coming from Canada, and we will do this, okay? <clears throat> when you protect the innocent. So, good, he brought some uh, tissue paper, I never know when you're going to need that. And let's see what we got here. And um, I believe this is probably all Essex miniatures. So let's see what we've got here. We've got, let's see if I can bring this in for a closer view. And let's do that. All right. So we should be focused on here. This are, these are some. Some Polish knights. Okay, and I already have some Polish knights, but this is this is a some Polish knights that would be uh, useful for the Book Four Polish Army, uh, Book Four Sixty Six later poles. Okay, so four of those guys. All right. Nice. I'm not sure how many mo other Polish knights I already have, but they give me lots of baggies. Cool. And here is another pack of Polish Knights and the horses as well. Looks like these are Polish Knights and these are, uh, these, those other horses have, uh, are caparisoned. In other words, they've got uh, cloth barding on them and these do not. And you guys know I like to mix and match things so that'll work work just fine for me. All right? What else we got? This is uh looks like some more Polish knights. You guys are seeing this stuff at the same time I am, so there you are. Yeah. And there's a variety of figure types in there. Okay. All right, There's three packs of Polish Knights, four figures each. All right, what do we got here? We've got some Bowman. And these, I believe, are from the Serbian range. Two Serbian Bowman, but these are work for anything Eastern European as well, because there's nothing specifically Serbian about these guys. I don't think so, anyways. Uh, we got another Bowman here. Guess he didn't realize I have, I have so many of these uh, drug bags as well. This is, uh, I'm gonna read, you, I was gonna read you the codes, but they're really hard to make out what they are. Um, and I, I'm not sure if they're accurate, but um, what do we got here? We got, okay, these are the light horse for the Wallachians. And they come with the, uh, the separate uh, 
lances or spears as they have them overhand. And uh, we will not be using these at all. We'll be replacing them with, uh, with, uh, with needles or pins. So yeah, got a variety of shields and uh, helmets. Okay, and that's good because that's actually an army that's on my to-do list. That's how it all started is a Wallachian. And for those of you guys that don't know, that would be Dracula's army because they fight. They're, they can ally with the Hungarians, um, they can ally with the Poles, and they fought the, fight the Ottomans, which you have an Ottoman army. This is, is this more of the same? This is more of the same. Another pack of those same uh, Wallachian light horse. Okay. What do we got here? This is a command pack, Eastern European command pack. I have a variety of uh, of figures there. Let's take them out. You guys, I know you guys want to see the figures, so. Yeah, three figures there. Commanders, so. One of these guys will probably make uh, look like Vlad. Okay. What do we have here? We've got, um, yeah, he does the same thing. This guy does the same thing I do. He'll label something for a bag and then he'll paint that and then the bag stays labeled for it. I do not have uh, Sayetic Egyptian. Thank goodness. <laughs> that wouldn't do me any good. What would I do with a book one army anyways? Okay, so this is the um, Moldavian horse, okay? These are some more Moldavian, Moldavian knights, okay? And horses here. And here we have some other Polish knights. Also from Essex. These have a different style helmet and so forth. That lance is broken, but it's not a big deal. I probably am going to replace these lances with pins anyways. I don't want to spend all the time. You guys know I spend a lot of time painting figures. I don't want to have to uh, replace the lances afterwards. So these are a little um, little later than the other, the other knights, but they'll mix in them just fine. Okay. What else we got in here? You guys see a current theme here going on. These guys are more of those uh, Moldavian knights. Another pack of them. Okay. Here we've got some bowmen that look to be those Wallachian style bowmen. shouldn't hold them. I should just leave them down here. Focus is better. Okay. This is... These guys look like a couple of Ottomans. Yep. Yep. You can always use more Ottomans. More of the Wallachian Bowmen, also known as the Skirmishers for that army. Cool. We got a little boom boom. Okay, and not only that, but we have a second one. And these are almost like the style that are on uh, the bombards that are four wheels, a style that would reminiscent of uh, something that would be on a sailing ship. Obviously these are much bigger and that's not what they are, but they're just the uh, wheeled bombards. Uh, what do we got here? We've got more knights, more Polish knights. Let's see what we got here. Yep, more Polish knights, and these are the horses that are 
covered in cloth. So there's actually quite a bit of information uh, available on Polish, specifically Polish heraldry. So that ought to be a blast. Yeah, I like painting heraldry. All right, what do we got here? More horses, and these guys are... These guys are the same as those, the Polish uh, horses, like the other pack that, uh, that I mentioned that needed to replace the, uh, the lance on there. So, have a mixture of different... Um, I don't know that I've seen this horse pose. Interesting. A new Essex horse pose. That's always good. All right, what do we got here? We've got uh, some auxilia, and I believe these are from the Byzantine line. Uh, we won't be using these as Byzantine. We'll probably use these maybe as Albanians or something like that. But uh, there's actually some nice looking figures. Got some detail there on the on the spear on the uh, shield. And um, we'll take these out. If you guys haven't seen those. Is it all the same pose? It is all the same pose. Yeah. We'll put one front, one back. How about that? Yeah. EMED 058. Okay. And we got another pack here of... Oh, got two more packs. These guys are... Oh, these are the Wallachian uh, Heavy Foot. Which, there isn't any in the DBA army. These are like Wallachian Spearmen. If you look at the Essex code, that's what it is. There's a variety of poses here. Um, variety of sh different shields, so forth. I believe they can have a fast horde, so somehow we'll have to work that in there somehow. Um, okay. And last but not least, we have some crossbowmen here. It's like Polish crossbowmen. Yeah. So there you have it. And more tissue paper. Cool. Well, anyhow, that's it. This is uh, straight from Canada. So um, we've got this and um, hopefully he'll enjoy the stuff that I send to him in, uh, in trade as well. So um, anyhow, this is uh, for... Uh, some Wallachian and Polish units that I have. I've got, I don't have any Wallachian units already. Um, actually, that's not true. Marty gave me some uh, Wallachian cavalry. So I've got some of them to mix in with them. And um, and Poles, I've got some other Poles as well uh, from Essex. And I want to say from Falcon? I may have some Falcon Poles, which definitely need their lances replaced because the ones they come with are very spaghetti they are like in charging poses, so we'll mix all those guys in and uh, have a good mix of figures there for that army. And uh, we've got war wagons for the poles, because uh, show those to you. Well, I was going to show them to you if they were handy. These guys, these war wagons here, this uh, Essex RXC 11, these are the Polish war wagons. They have the armored sides on the thing. Yeah, so um, here's the war wagons that go with. A lot of these poles here so uh anyhow so hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing and uh we'll catch you guys next time don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, when you do subscribe make sure you hit that bell so you get notified of any new videos that i have um you'll get an immediate notification then you don't have to wait any longer to watch them you'll know exactly when they come up okay folks we'll catch you guys next time Bye bye